and action. I'm here with Paul, the CP Media team. Richard Greer here reporting live. We're here with Paul Botha, who's just got back from South Africa, and you've just finished the Comrades Marathon, a 90k epic through South Africa. Tell us about it. How'd you get on? How'd you get on? So first, a bit of history about the Comrades. So the Comrades is the world's oldest ultra marathon. So yep. the first race was run in 1921. Uh, in memory of the fallen soldiers of World War One, yep. and it's just grown in popularity from the started with 35 athletes. This year we were 19,000 on the start line. Wow, 19,000! How how did that feel at the start line? Oh, it's, you've you've got to experience it yep. to understand it. It's just amazing, you know. When you start before the start, uh, everybody sings the national anthem. They sing a Zulu song called Shosh Loza. Yeah. Then they listen to Chariots of Fire. <laughs> then there's a rooster that crows, which is an actual voice over, over of a human being. Right. And then the a cannon goes, and then yep. everyone's off. So that happens at 5.30 in the morning. Yep. So you've got to calm yourself down after that, because you've got 90Ks ahead of you. You've, you'll go over the first K going far too fast. How did that go for you? Well, with 19,000 athletes, you don't really start yeah. too fast. <laughs> it's pretty slow. Yeah. It's pretty good. It's, yeah. a, it's a good start. So yeah. you, you, you can't really go too fast unless you're one of the elite. Yeah. And, and we just follow them. Mm-hmm. And, and it's, it's just an, an amazing experience. Yeah. Fantastic. So how did your run go? How did you get on? So my, my race went really well. Yeah. Uh, it started actually uh, as part of my training. Yeah. So you've got you to gotta look at this as your training as part of the experience. Yeah. So I had a real good training block um, leading up to Comrades. Did a lot of work on the Port Hills, mm-hmm. which really helped. Yeah. Because the Comrades is run between two cities, between Durban, and which is at the coast, and yep. inland Peter Yes. So this year was what we call an up run. So we yep. started at sea level in Durban and finished in Peter yep. So we, alternate years they swap it around. Next year will be a down run. Is that right? Yes, that's yep. correct. And so we did a lot of hill repeats, a lot yep. of hill work this year, yep. which paid off. Um, so, and, and then on the race, the plan with the comrades is always to start slow mm-hmm. and conserve energy yep. and get to the 60k mark as fresh as you can after yeah. 60 k. how fresh were you after 60 k's? I actually felt really strong, to be okay. honest. Um, yeah. Never felt the uphill or the hills in my quads at all. Mm-hmm. Okay, and good. that's a testimony to, to good training. Yeah, brilliant. Yeah, good job. And any dark moments in the across the course of the of 90 k's? Personally, no. Yeah. Um, at about... Probably about the 60k ish mark, I saw my clubmate who went through a dark patch. Yep. And I walked with him for a few k's just awesome. to motivate him and keep him going. Yep. And then finished strong. So I finished in 10 hours 44, which I'm really happy with. Yeah, brilliant. Brilliant. And what happens? Uh, there's a um, time limit for this event, isn't there? Tell us about that. Yeah, so there's a 12 hour time limit. Yeah. So um, at 5.30 at night, the gun goes again. Yep. And if you haven't crossed the finish line, you get to hear the last post. Right. And and the, are the, how strict are they with that? Like exactly at that time, if you don't make the, hit the finish line, you don't get a medal? What happens there? Yeah, absolutely. So the guy with the gun, he stands with his back towards the oncoming athletes. Okay. So, so he can't see who's coming. Yep. And at 5.30, he just shot, fires the shot and that's it. That's it's the end of it. So they've got people closing the course and that's it. That's the end of it. Yeah, that must be pretty motivating just to be able to get through and get through that time. And that makes your, what, how, 10 hours? 44. 10, 44, even more special, doesn't it? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, just to finish that race is an awesome event. It's yeah. an awesome achievement. Yeah. Awesome. So you've got a big plan for 2021. Tell us about that. Yeah, so um, 2021 is the 100-year celebration of the first event. Yep. So they haven't run the comrades during the Second World War. So there's four, four races less than the number of years. Yep. So in 2021, they celebrate the 100 years. Yep. So it'll be awesome to get a group of Kiwis to come and join us yes. and experience Africa and yep. experience this awesome event. Yeah, brilliant. And it's a down run, so it's even easier, isn't it? Yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> so the theory goes. Yeah. Um, it's a bit. It's a bit more hard work. It's hard on the quads going yep. down, yep. but it's um it's faster as well. Yeah, so yeah. even the elites, these about a, I think about a 20 minute difference in the course record up and down. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Well, there we go. We'll have to organise our leave passes. 2021, we're off to Africa. Yeah, that's absolutely. We've got to put a Team CP together to go yep. and um, look forward to it. Good job. Well done, Paul. Great effort. Uh, fantastic to be able to follow you. And, uh, hey, um, yeah, super, super exciting that you managed to execute that race plan and just do so well across your event. Thanks, Richard. Well done. Thanks.